Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the HTC Desire mobile phone. Now I've been doing a lot of coverage on this mobile phone over the past few days. Well this is part 8 of my videos and you'll be glad to know that this is the full review. So I'm going to be giving you a good overview of the handset and then my opinion on how it's been performing for me and whether this could be your next mobile phone. So, as I said, this is the HTC Desire. It's running Google's Android operating system, version 2.1. And it's also got some little added bits of eye candy. And that's courtesy of HTC, who have added their Sense UI, sort of over the top as an overlay uh, on the Android operating system. Now, inside the handset, you've got a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. And that's a really high-powered and speedy processor. And, and it helps the handset a great deal. I mean, there's no lag. It's very responsive to touches, very quick at launching applications, and a real joy to use. Now, also inside, we've got a 1,400 milliamp hour battery. Now, it doesn't sound like a very high capacity, but uh, I've had this for three days now. And that first initial charge, so I did a full charge on the handset, and I managed to get two full days use and that was doing all of my videos that you've been watching plus a lot of texting, a lot of video watching, uh, phone calls, uh, looking at photos etc. So I've been really impressed. I've got two full days of use from this handset from a, small char from a full charge. So very impressed indeed. Now what else have we got on this handset? Well, front of the handset, this glorious screen, 3.7 inches. 480 by 800 resolution and it's an AM OLED screen so that's active matrix organic light emitting diode screen and what that means is you're getting a lot more vibrant colors than a standard uh, LED screen so real joy to look at if I just go over to this blank screen you'll see absolutely wonderful colors I'll pop into the photo app as well actually let's go into that photos app and just show you some photos now, if I tap on that one and pop it round to landscape view, you'll see absolutely wonderful colours. I mean, I don't think you can fault that at all. Really vivid colours, nice viewing experience, a real joy to, to look at the screen. Absolutely superb screen. So let's pop back out to that home screen. I just also want to show you, in comparison to an HTC Magic, now this is my previous Android based mobile phone. This is an HTC Magic. Uh, look at the difference in the screen brightness. They're both set to, to full brightness and you can see this is a lot more vivid. A uh, nice larger screen as well. And the two handsets, this one's obviously a lot bigger, the HTC Desire, and a lot thinner though as well. So really a lot more pocketable and in the hand it feels a little bit heavier. But the in comparison to the HTC Magic this one, this is a lot better, a lot more responsive, a lot higher powered. Um, and this is going to become my phone of choice. And this one is going to a recycling uh, company. So back to the HTC Desire. Let's tell you what else we've got. We've got 512 megabyte ROM inside, 576 megabytes of RAM, and also a micro SD card slot which takes up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, so plenty of room for storing those photos and videos. You also get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The Bluetooth supports A2DP stereo, so nice if you're listening to music via a wireless headset. Just on the top of the handset, I'll just quickly show you that as well. Standard 3.5mm audio jack, so again, if you're into your music, you can put your favourite earphones into the desire. Now I'm just going to pop into the YouTube application. I had somebody ask me if I can just show the performance on YouTube. Well, let's do a search for one of my videos this time. Let's tap in my name there. Here's some of my previous HTC Desire videos. Pop that round to landscape mode for you. Now, as you can see, really nice, colourful display again. Just going to give you 
and listen to that speaker at full volume as well so you can hear how loud it goes. So, very clear screen, um, nice volume. The only thing I would say is when that's up at high volume, you do get some distortion from the speaker. Only a very small amount, so I tend to knock it down a notch when I'm listening, but it does distort a little bit at the highest volume level. So now let's cover what I don't like about the HTC Desire. Well, there's only actually three things that I don't like. The first one is this optical trackpad. It is absolutely fantastic when you're using it for uh, viewing photos or for perhaps scrolling around a web page or a long list of text but I think it's just too sensitive when I'm on my home screen and doing various things with these buttons sometimes it picks up an accidental input and sort of switches to another home screen that can be really frustrating and I think it's just a little bit too sensitive second thing I don't like is when I lock the touchscreen so it can't accept accidental input on my previous Android base handset the HTC Magic I could wake it up with the menu button it just felt natural to me to go down to one of these buttons to wake the handset up well on the HTC Desire you can only wake up the screen with this top power button and it's only a small thing but um, I think it would be nice if either with a software update or perhaps I'm missing it perhaps you can set it somewhere that it would be nice to be able to set one of these buttons down the bottom here to wake the handset up. And then the third thing that I don't like is just this speaker on the back. I showed you when I was playing that YouTube video back a short while ago that at the very highest volume it does distort slightly. So it would be nice if they maybe improve that a little bit in future handsets. So now moving on to what I do like. Well I don't want to sound as I'm repeating myself all the time but there is a lot to like about this handset. Uh, the screen, first of all, absolutely wonderful. 3.7 inches, really colourful, really vivid colours, and very sensitive as well, so it doesn't miss touches, and there's no sort of tapping at the screen continually. It's uh, very accurate to use. Also like the keyboard when I'm using texts or email, uh, very easy to type fast on the HTC Desire. Uh, also like the Android Market, I know it's not specific just to this handset, but it means I can add applications. As you can see, I've already added some. I've added TV Guide, Shop Savvy, Weatherbug, Foursquare, etc. All available for the Android-based handsets, and it really adds value to the HTC Desire. Also love the battery life, two days between charges, can't complain at that at all. Would I choose this over an iPhone? Yes, because I find it less distracting. I find it a lot more productive to use because I'm not playing those little games and apps all the time. Um, so yeah, this would get my money every time over the current iPhone. But who knows what Apple are going to do with the next generation iPhone. Maybe that will swing my opinion again. But for now, this is definitely my recommendation of the best handset available at the moment. Um, really like it. You can actually get it uh, on various deals on contract, but certainly SIM free unlocked, it's going to cost you around about £380, which I reckon is a, a reasonable price to ask for such a fully featured mobile phone. In the US, you're going to pay around about $690, a little bit more expensive over there. Um, but overall, the HTC Desire certainly wins my vote, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching all of my coverage on this handset. If you do have any questions, I do have a questions and answers video, so please post your questions over on that video on my channel, and I will make another video covering all of the questions that I receive. Well, thanks very much for listening. Please check out the Geek and Eyes channel for more tech-related videos. This video review is sponsored by ProPorter.com, who design and manufacture a whole host of accessories for your mobile devices, including PDAs and smartphones, MP3 players and iPods, laptops, GPS devices and gaming units.